Winners don't lose. Hey guys, welcome back to Never Stop Shooting. My name is Paul, and this is Shadowrun Returns. All right, sorry if you heard Will, my my boy, uh, hollering at the end of that last episode there. He was trying to announce to the world that he was awake again. So, uh, we found him. We tracked him down. We're in Seattle now. Uh, he's at the, uh, the Organ Grinders, a legal chop shop for body parts, whether from the living or the dead. If you're hurting bad enough for New Yen, this is the place to sell a limb or an organ. It's a good place to dispose of an inconvenient body while making a little cash on the side. This franchise is the closest thing the Barons has to a morgue. It seems this is where Sam's body has ended up. You open the door and are assaulted by the smell of death and bleach. All right. So we tracked him down, which I'm quite pleased about. Let's see if we can find somebody to talk to here, someone to chat with. While Shovery only slightly masked by the minty, fake, fresh of industrial grade and deceptic. Dresden. Hello, Dresden. My name is Gil Stealer. Hovering over the recently departed is a small dwarf whistling a tune. His broad grin says, I love my job. A little more than you want or expect from somebody in the chop shop trade. As you approach, he looks up with a lopsided grin. There's something kindly in his eyes, so it might be a stray reflection of chrome and surgical tools. That's an awesome outfit. I love the pictures. Sorry, didn't expect any visitors at this hour, and some a-hole at corporate took my receptionist. What can I do for you, sir? Are you the coroner? I'm John Dresden, the local organ grinder's branch manager here, so yeah, that makes me this franchise area's coroner, too. And you are? No one you've ever heard of. Tell me about Sam Watts. He fixes you with a hard gaze. Careful friend. I can have a lone star here in two minutes. Now what makes you think I know anything about Sam Watts? He had a locator trip and chip embedded in his skull. I followed it here. I see. Well, you're right. He's here. Not too many people know about the murder yet, though. The press haven't caught wind of it yet. What with it being all the way out here in the Barrens. So who told you he was dead? Yeah, I don't need to I don't need to mention a hundred thousand new yen here to this Dresden. Sam's digital ghost. When his heart stopped, I got sent a recorded message asking me to bring his killer to justice. Guess he had a hunch. Dead man switch, eh? Hey? Fascinating. I was working on him earlier, he's over there. Over I'll follow you then, Dresden. Ah Oh, he's bald now. Poor guy. He's my second Emerald City Ripper victim. The third one was downtown. Emerald City Ripper. Not my title. That's what the Seattle Press insists on calling the killer. All I know is that, like the original Jack, our Ripper knows how to twist a scalpel. But this one's even more twisted. He or she always removes an internal organ from the victim. Okay, so yeah, what was it? That could be a pertinent question if this is turning into a detective story for me. The interesting thing here that I'm noting is this is the second... Oh, I guess he said it was the second of his victims that he's seen. Because the guy's, the guy's already considered a serial killer by the... Uh, oh, it's liver. He's already considered a serial killer, but he's not... Uh, you know, this is only the second victim, but I guess he did say it was the second victim that he has seen. Uh, the first victim's heart was missing, and the third has a spleen removed. Heart, liver, spleen. Dresden, get out of here! Let's take a closer look at the body. I'm here about the new Ripper Vic, Sam Watts. Covered in sterile surgical sheets, face is ashen white. Small, pencil-thin incision covered in dry blood. Beyond that, the corpse is immaculate. The killer knew exactly what he wanted from him and took it. Next to Sam are several plastic envelopes containing the evidence found on his body. You can examine evidence from the bag without spoiling it. All right, business card. Seamstress's Union. Cred stick. Standard. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm not taking a cred stick out of the bag. I'm not gonna steal it from the dead here. Sam's shirt, especially when the dead has offered me 100,000 new yen. A, a little cred stick, it's not gonna do much for me. Uh, Sam's shirt, several of the buttons are missing and blood has thoroughly soaked it. Handwritten note. Sam, I feel terrible that we argued. We have been together for so long. I wanted to say I'm sorry. See you there. Okay. 
Oh, basic med kit. Very nice. All right. So who are you? You must be like the detective in charge or something. Dominion of Cornor is the homicide detective right out of central casting. If you ignored the tusks, pointed ears, and the Anderthal brow, you can smell his cheap aftershave from a mile away. So this new Ricker, Ripper Vic Watts. Name's familiar. Ah, so this new Ripper Vic Watts. Name's familiar. Didn't his mother kill herself a while back? So you insisted at the time? Come on, she offed herself. I had it only on good authority. Had it on good authority. Let's go, Dresden. Give me something to work with here. The Ripper case is my ticket to lieutenant's badge. I've already posted everything I know. The killer stuns the target with a combination of drugs and magic, then removes a single internal organ while they're still alive. Like that guy out of that first season of Gotham. Was it Gotham? I think it was Gotham. Yeah, Scarecrow did that. The perpetrator is most likely right-handed, with a slim hand that knows its way around a scalpel, has a decent understanding of human and metahuman anatomy, too. So I'm looking for a whacked-out surgeon. Not necessarily. I don't know any surgeons who still use scalpels anymore. These days, it's all done by computer-controlled lasers. Could be anyone from a military field surgeon to an antique medicine aficionado. You're no help, dwarf. Lone Star Detective finally notices you. He you notes know, with his superhuman powers of observation. <laughs> yeah, I'm just standing here behind the dwarf. Uh. Hi. Who the hell are you? Oh, I don't have enough strength to tell. None of your business, lumpy. Uh, you the detective on the case? I was hired by Sam Watts to assist you in finding his killer. Ah, dreck you were. You get anywhere near my investigation, it'll be you on the slab, elf. Dresden, give me more. I'm putting someone in a cell or a box this week and claiming my promotion. Okay, okay. I, I think it could still be a valuable ally. I think it could still be helpful. What's up, Dresden? <laughs> you always make friends that easily? Eh, I'm great at dinner parties, too. Be straight with me. You really gonna work for the dead man? Yeah, Sam was there when I needed him. I'm going to return a favor. Fascinating again. Detective Mikulski isn't interested in anything but Detective Mikulski. McCluskey, I guess. He'd convict his own mother if it meant another 10 new yen in a week at a pay... Bleh, 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 if it meant another 10 new yen a week at his paycheck. Plus, he's on the take. You have honor, after a fashion. I try to honor the dead in my work, so we have that in common. Okay, so he's on the take, eh? Yeah, who's holding his leash? I don't know. Some of Major Pull's been looking out for Mikulski's, McCluskey's career. I want to say McCluskey. And Wallet. What was that about McCluskey's mother? The official report is that she committed suicide about a week ago. Or Sam's ma, I guess. Aren't you official in that stance? My name's on the report, but my actual findings left some doubts. I can't say that it was suicide, but there were some unusual bruises on her upper arms, and she didn't use her dominant hand to pull the trigger. I was told to drop it, so I dropped it. What are organs worth these days? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It doesn't... Like, you wouldn't just take one piece, though, if this was all about the money, right? What about the seamstress's union? Nearby club in the Barrens that attracts lowlifes. You'd probably like it. Me, I'm not the going out type. Always do too much to be a d always too much to be done around here. Plus, it's better just easier to get along with. Where was he killed? You know, I might be able to do you one better. Why don't you poke around those body lockers in the back and see if you find anything useful? I'll go do that. Are these the lockers he was talking about? It must be. Cold storage uh, drawer is labeled John Doe, but the internal thermostat is set to 21 Celsius. Is it room temperature? Cold storage drawer opens to reveal the fully clothed body of a man, arms folded across his chest. In addition to sporting some of the brightest orange hair you've ever seen, the body seems to be in good condition. Is he alive? <laughs> oh, easy there. Figured about as much. 
In one quick move, he jumps down from the drawer and stands before you. For someone who just woke up in a morgue locker, he seems unfazed and pretty well put together. He spotted data, drag drilled in, data Jack drilled into his temples and some shamanistic tattoos peeking above his collar. An interesting combination indeed. I told John to wake me up at 6 in the morning. Is it 6 yet? Doesn't feel like 6 yet. Sorry, I didn't expect it to be so alive. Yeah, Dresden thinks he's pretty funny. You're not the first person he's pulled this one on. Well, so much for a good night's sleep. I think it's 3 a.m. On the plus side, I've noticed you haven't killed me yet, so... That's good. If you aren't after me, what's your story? This Ripper victim, what do you know? Sam, eh? Glad somebody cares. We used to drink together every now and then, every now and then down at the Union. Decent enough guy, always in trouble over something or other, though. John, is this guy cool? Yeah, he's on the level working for working for Sam, believe it or not. Some sort of dead man switch. I thought maybe you could help him. Maybe even stop moping around the shop all day. Thanks for volunteering me. All right, then. Name's Jake. You are? Call me Kill Stealer. Nice to meet you. Well, it sounds like you're taking a dive into the deep end here. John's right, I might be able to help you out. I was with Sam the other night, the night of the murder. Poor guy. He was hanging at the seamstress's union that night. Tripped out and rowdy. I'd been laying low there for a couple, for a few days after a bad run. Miss Kabata's asked me to lay, uh, asked me to throw Sam out, so I did. But out in the alley, some gangers got the jump on me. Damn. Maybe I need some soy calf after all. John, could you grab me a cup? It's coffee. Get your own cup. My hands are dirty, anyways. Now what's wrong with this intestine? You hear the loud sound as Dresden continues his work. Thanks, John. You're a real pal. Anyway, there's a big, fat corp bounty on my head. Like I said, my last job didn't exactly go according to plan. Out in the alley, a few Halloweeners got the jump on us. Damn, gangers thought they could turn a quick profit off my head. Jake smiles. You get the impression that he didn't work. Uh, it didn't work so well for the gangers. Sam stumbled off during the fight, though, and that's the last I saw of him until it turned up here. DOA. Reminds me of my last stay in this place. Uh, you know anything else? Anything else you could tell me? I know they found his body a block away from the Union, just laying there in broad daylight. That's the Baron's for you. Jake looks down, his expression masked by chrome and crimson glass. Shame, though. Wish I'd been there. If those slagging gangers hadn't come along. Tell you what, you look like you could handle yourself in a fight. I could use some backup to settle the score with those Halloweeners out there. Their leader's got a whole gang searching the Baron's for me. I need to get rid of that a-hole. In return, I'll take you to the place where Sam was murdered. Not safe to hit the streets alone at night, trust me. Jake eyes you up and down. Maybe I'll throw in some decent supplies while I were at it. What do you say? Alright, Jake, count me in. Great. Been hiding out here ever since that running with those Halloweeners. Whiny bunch of gangers, but this stretch of the Barrens is our turf. Hell, I'm surprised you even made it to the morgue in one piece without packing heat. Very funny, Jake. Jake, you could sleep at a dumpster tomorrow. You need a weapon? I think a pistol is what I used last time. My weapon of choice as well. Here, take this one. Alright. Just watch my back and don't make me regret this. I'll follow your lead. The Halloweeners aren't looking for you. Yet. Alright. We got our first party member, guys. Jake Armitage. Very nice. Some sort of a Decker slash shaman sort of a guy. Favors the, uh, favors the pistols, Pistol Pete's, and uh, for now I think we're going to call it there for today, guys, and when we see you next time, we are going to be dealing with the uh, the Redmond Barons, with these uh, these Halloweeners, which is a term I haven't heard before in, uh, in the Shadowrun universe, but until we see you then, make sure to like and subscribe, and be excellent to one another.